Ryan Skeen style when we were out with him, I guess. Um, he definitely liked more open stuff where he could find just trees to jump over and anything he could just to go you know, do something a little different. His positivity, I mean, it would be like he would fall in a competition or someone would say something not very nice and it just wouldn't phase him, man. He could just walk right through it and it was so inspiring to just be around and just feel like someone is just kind of radiating sunshine. Like, you know, since he's not with us anymore, it's something I think about every day. If I start to get a little cloudy and a little frowny, I just think of what it felt like, you know, to, to be around him and, and his energy the way he always was. After Ryan passed, it definitely made us all reevaluate everything as far as skiing and the way he lived and what he would have wanted. There's no question that we just wanted just to keep having as much fun as possible. Well, he never ever got tired of skiing. Like it would be miserable, windy, rainy out, and he was like. Yeah, let's go shred that jump line. And you're like, Ryan, are you kidding me? It sucks out there. And he's like, no way, it's awesome. And it really made me realize, like, why do we ski? You know, it's not to look good. It's not to impress people. It's because it feels good to have the wind in your face and get some face shots or to drop some air and feel weightless and just all the physical things about skiing and being in nature and the whole experience that he always, always embraced, no matter what it was like outside. With you. That's sort of what we've tried to embody without him now. It's just living for the moment and skiing for the right reasons and he just loved life and loved doing whatever he could to have the most fun. So we're gonna keep doing it. We're in a secret stash in the woods in Vermont, skiing some creamy pow.